the 11th of June, yes. 1988, in Nairobi, a most extraordinary event. There's a woman in Nairobi called Mary Akatsa, who is a fundamentalist Christian. She doesn't believe in Maitre at all. She believes in the Christ. She's a very devout Christian. She held this meeting just outside the town, and she has 6,000 followers. And we have photographs taken there showing them thousands, 6,000 people. And she said, God has spoken to me, and we're going to be visited by a great being, somebody very, very important. And suddenly, just beside her, stood this figure of Maitreya dressed in a long white robe with a white headdress with a blue band round the headdress. And uh, he had a fly whisk in his hand and he's a tall figure, much taller than the people around. He's actually six feet three inches tall and uh, slim, wide-shouldered and uh, he spoke to the crowds, and they all said, ah, ah, they, they thought he was the Christ. They immediately saw him as the Christ or Jesus, because they're Christians, you know, so they would think Christ Jesus. So, Jesus, Jesus, Christo, Christo, help me, save me. They were all there for healing. She's an extraordinary healer, because Maitreya gives healing through that woman, Mary Akatsa. There's a man called Job Mutungi, who was the editor of the Kenya Times, at the, at the time, the uh, Swahili editor of the Kenya Times. And he wrote it up in the Kenya Times. Did the Christ come to, to uh, Nairobi this day? So we got in touch with him and he, he came over here and interviewed me for the story and so on. And he, he, he described it, he said it was quite extraordinary. He, he said, the, the Saturday before, the week before, he was in the town, centre of the town, and he saw a star going round and round, like a, it wasn't an aeroplane, it was a star. And it was silently going round and round the, the town. He said it reminded me of the star of Bethlehem, you know, uh, that the, uh, the wise men followed into the town. And, but it didn't. He didn't know anything about it, he just saw it. He said, oh my, this must be a portent. This must mean something very big is going to happen. But he didn't know what, and nothing happened except that, which was big enough. The week later, Mary Akatsa said, a great being is coming, and just suddenly, out of miraculously, out of nowhere, came Maitreya. He spoke to the crowd in perfect, unexcited Swahili for maybe 15, 20 minutes, something like that. And he told uh, Mary Akatsa at one point to put her hand in his pocket. And she said in the pocket were four crosses made of gold, big crosses like that. And she pulled one out and she, we have a photograph of her holding the cross up like that. Big cross, about 14, 15 inches high like that made of gold, and then he healed about 40 or 50 people standing in this, the area where he was. Then he said, now I have to go, uh, but I will be back with, uh, they said, a bucket full of blessings. Um, but the master, my master said, he didn't say a bucket, but they translated it as bucket. He said, uh, uh, a vessel. I will be back with a vessel full of blessings. And uh, he said, I have to go. And somebody there, one of the group there said, well, I have a car, I, can I take you to the station? So he got in the car, but he only went about 100 yards. And they said, I have to get out here. So he got out of the car and walked away. And he took a few steps and just disappeared, literally disappeared again. That was all over the world, CNN, BBC, Japanese television, it, it just covered the world for two days. But, you know, it wasn't football, it was the Christ, it wasn't too important, and so it just disappeared, it just became nothing.